Rebecca Hilburn, aka Natto Soup, again, and I'm doing another um, haul. This time it's for Dollar Tree. It's part of my affordable and accessible art supply series. I've already talked about Walmart and I've already talked about Target. So it's Dollar Tree time! I think most of you guys have access and can afford Dollar Tree. Um, when planning this series, I kept in mind my budget as a teenager, which was a hefty $10 a week for babysitting and various light chores and keeping my grades up. And $10 a week really doesn't go far. Um, I didn't really get birthday money either, so it was 10 bucks or bust. Um, so when planning this series, uh, I wanted to keep that in mind. I wanted to keep um, everything I picked up very affordable. Um, the sort of stores that everybody has in their area. Uh, I tried not to go to the biggest example of that store. The Walmart, the Target, and this Dollar Tree reviews are all very small stores. Um, so it's kind of like if you can find it at, if I could find it, hopefully you can find it. Um, I'm originally from rural Louisiana, so that also definitely had an influence in the sort of stores I picked. Um, I understand that a lot of my readers may not have access to big stationery stores like Mido or Kinokuniya. Um, they may not have access to a credit card of their own. They may not have permission to use their parents' credit card for sites like Dick Blick or JetPins. So with that in mind, I formulated this series. Um, when picking out supplies, I have um, a few basic tenets in mind. I need something to draw with, I need something to ink with, I need something to erase with, I need something to apply color with, I need something to hold it all. If I see anything else that's applicable uh, and I can afford it, I will usually give it a shot. Um, but otherwise it's, <laughs> it's pretty much just that. I'm a watercolor artist primarily, although I also do markers. So I, if I can find it, I'll pick up watercolors and I'll pick up markers. Um, for both the Walmart and the Target runs, they're water-based markers. And what I found for Dollar Tree was um, watercolor paints and markers and some little uh, Bencia style crayons, which I thought were pretty neat. So let's, uh, let's explore these items, shall we? All right, so this is my haul all in one place without the risers, and we're gonna go through it uh, piece by piece together. So um, my Dollar Tree doesn't sell sketchbooks, not even at the beginning of the year, but I did find this little notepad with mm, passable paper. You're not gonna be able to watercolor on it. Uh, there's not much tooth to it, but I mean, you know, for a buck, <laughs> yeah, you can't go wrong with 150 sheets. Um, I also found these highlighter pens. Uh, you get three of them. The, the only color that really looks like it would be a highlighter is the green. The blue and the purple are pretty dark and they look like they're, oh, oh, they are double-sided. They're highlighters and pens. I thought they were highlighter pens. Ah, wow, you learn something every day. Uh, and these are 0.7 millimeter. I also picked up this pack of ballpoint pens, even though I hate ballpoint pens, and I strongly recommend you don't ink with ballpoint pens if you can help it, but my Dollar Tree options were pretty dang limited. Um, I picked up these not one, but two packs of permanent colored markers. Uh, as you can see, multicolor, felt tip, 0.4 millimeters. Uh, so it's probably gonna be like using a colored fine liner or technical pen. So that's $2, not just one. Uh, I picked up these stackable crayons because they're just so dang cute and I have such fond memories of Bencia pen pencils from a billion years ago. Again, a dollar. I picked up this three pack of clear plastic rulers. They have centimeters and inches because, I mean, they're rulers. You might as well get your rulers from Dollar Tree unless you're, you need to cut and then you want a metal straight edge. Um, but for ruling things out, uh, inking straight lines, these are great. Don't spend more than a dollar. Um, <laughs> I picked up a plastic pencil case. Um, I usually get clear ones from uh, art supply stores and I pay way too much money. Um, it has a snap and it pulls out and you store your pencils in there. 
The only problem is it's sometimes hard to snap. It actually did it in one go, so that's impressive. Um, I picked up a couple of different types of mechanical pencils because that's what I use. Of course, you don't have to use mechanical pencils. It's just my preference. I picked up these super fancy ones for a dollar with a gummy grip, which is nice. Ow. And I picked up these much more basic ones. And both of them have 0.7 millimeter lead, which is what I normally use anyway. I also picked up these permanent markers. And any other time I would tell you guys, please don't ink your work with permanent markers. It's not archival. In four years, it's gonna look terrible. I could show you guys some examples at a later date. It looks really, really bad. But my Dollar Tree options were very limited and uh, permanent markers are fine if you're going to scan your work. Um, so you don't need the physical copy to look good forever. I picked up two kinds two kinds of pencil sharpeners, so $2. Uh, you get two of these pretty cute piranha pencil sharpeners. They look like they're meant to sharpen jumbo, jumbo pencils um, for a dollar. And I also picked up this two hole pencil sharpener also for a dollar. I picked up these watercolor paints which um, I'm not really excited about demoing for you guys because they look kind of terrible, but we'll find out together. I picked up this 20 pack of markers. Um, I'll try not to die from the toxic fumes they will probably produce. So you guys get to enjoy that. Um, it doesn't say whether or not they're water-based or I don't know, toxic fume based. So we'll find out together, maybe. Oh, it does say washable though. Washable. Washable. So uh, I'm presuming they're water based. And I also picked up a four pack of what looks to be white vinyl erasers. Hopefully they perform pretty well because I mean four white vinyl erasers for a buck is a pretty good deal. So, um, that's everything I bought from the Dollar Tree. Everything was a dollar, so I spent about $46, including tax, at my Luling Dollar Tree. Um, so, um, that was everything. Um, my personal favorites, without having reviewed anything, because I know they're gonna work, even without having to test them, are the pencil case, because a pencil case is a pencil case, and as long as it holds your pencils, it's good. And the three plaques of clear plastic rulers, because they're rulers and they have centimeters and inches and that's really, and a straight edge, and that's really all you need for a ruler at this point in time. Um, so that's everything. I'm Becca Hilburn, Natto Soup. You can read my reviews for all of these products in the upcoming weeks at nattosoup.blogspot.com. Uh, just search uh, Dollar Tree Art Supply Review or feel free to read any of my reviews, tutorials, um, comic artist life, true story facts, convention reviews, and a billion other things on my blog. Have a good day, guys. Bye!